What would you do if you knew nothing was impossible? Money was no object and you couldn't fail. A few years ago, I was so sick and tired of being sick and tired, but I didn't make a change because, well, I was hardwired. Hardwired into thinking that nine to five is the only way. That life requires you to sacrifice your day to the man who sees you as less than a number because a number still has value. I was seen as valueless, as a set of KPIs or a name on an attendee list. Essentially, I was seen as replaceable, incapable of being special and that killed my drive. I started to work just hard enough so that they wouldn't fire me. And I got paid just enough so that I wouldn't leave because at the end of the day, all they truly care about is the financials, not anything substantial. I believe that the leaders of the corporate day have lost their way. Do you remember a time of the king, Martin Luther, as he stood in front of an audience and preached to them and he said, I, I have a dream. And everyone in the audience, black, white, female, male, children, whoever it was, they were touched and they were inspired to his vision. And today, our leaders would rather say things like, I, I have an organizational organogram with the right internal processes that'll help us execute in our five-year strategy that'll make our stakeholders happy. What kind of life is that to aspire to? What kind of meaning is that? And I know that it pays the bills, but is it really worth sacrificing your calling for? To scrape by making somebody else's dream come true? Running out of the month at the end of your money every single month to make stakeholders happy. And I'm not saying that it's bad to have a job. All I'm saying is that if it gets in the way of your life process, if it gets in the way of your happiness, is it really worth it? So keep your job. It helps you sustain your life, but in your spare time, make sure you're working towards creating a life you don't need a vacation from. A life where you're excited to wake up and satisfied when you go to bed. Whatever you're interested in, if it's property, poetry, music, or dancing, there's so many people out there that could be interested in what you're interested in. Go find them, go make money with them. And not only money, you'll be able to make meaning as well. And I'm so grateful that I get to stand here as not only a person who's telling me these things, but is living it. And I get to be the proof of following my calling. And 10 months ago, I left my job and today, I get to write and speak as much as I want. And I have a life that is rich with meaning. And I'm also able to pay my bills on time mostly. It was the Dalai Lama that said, the thing that confuses him most about this world is humans. Because what they do is they sacrifice their health to make money. Then they sacrifice that money to recuperate their health. They're so anxious about the future that they do not enjoy the present. The result being that they do not live in the present or in the future. And when the haunting hand of death comes knocking to a life short lived, the money enslaved employee realizes that he lived as if he was never gonna die and is going to die having never truly lived. If you knew that nothing was impossible, money was no object and you couldn't fail, what would you do? Once you know that, everything else becomes secondary. Chase your dream. Love your purpose.